YouTube welcome back to the channel JDM Jesse here and as y'all know in the last video the Forester had a head gasket go down and most likely a warped head so past couple weeks I've been actually on the search for a new daily and I, yesterday on lunch I went and picked this beautiful beast up Here is a 1998 Honda Civic EK hatch. Bone, almost bone stock. It's got some wheels on it. 153,000 miles. Barely broke in for a Honda. It's got the good old trusty D15 Y7. It's got some aftermarket headers on it. DC Sports, I believe. And it's got a Buddy Club 3 inch exhaust on the back of it. And when I say this thing is loud, I'm talking about it's louder than the G, louder than cars at the racetrack. It's just unbearable. But it's not the prettiest thing. But it runs and drives. It's reliable. Great on gas. It actually doesn't have brake lights right now. I've got a brake light switch i got to throw into it. But I just wanted to show you all the brand new car. It's not much, but it's honest work. And we'll get it in the shop and then we're going to take it for a test drive so stay tuned clip right there one of my flaws that I'm fixing today is my battery cable has a loose connection um, so when I got the car it needed a battery so I went and got a battery for it and then forgot the tool to take the battery cable in loose so I could put the new battery on and we just kind of shoved them on there and called it a day well it's I'm going to have to tighten that up and that up, but that's boring. So, it's a D16Y7 non VTEC. Got this custom AEM <laughs> air filter on it. Uh, wiring harness has been gone through a little bit. But overall, it's a solid running car. David is actually throwing his coilovers on his EF hatch today. If we get the freaking lug nuts If we can find the lug key. Yeah, if they can find the lug key. Oof. That video will be on his channel. I'll leave a link down below if y'all haven't already known. David started up his channel Boost Co. a couple weeks back, and this is the new drag project he picked up. So go check out his channel. And then, let's see, I'm sure he'll be having some content on the bins, hopefully soon, and then we'll get back to the Supra one day. And once I get all the kinks on this daily worked out, it's 1JZ time for the G. I decided I'm going to set the Forester back for a rainy day project because my priority is the G. That's the build that I want to start on. And the Forester, I can have it probably done in a day. I got to take the heads off and go get them machined and put them back on. It should be fine. So we're actually, I'm going to throw this little brake light switch in. And then we're going to go for a cruise so I can show you what the car is all about. So, remember I told you all this thing was loud? I wasn't lying at all. I wasn't kidding. It, it hurts everyone's ears, including mine. David said it made his ears ring earlier. Oh yeah, all the time. This thing's like... 
it's super loud. It's loud for no reason. It's just a straight pipe condo. I think it's louder than the G. Oh, for sure. It kind of rides like a log wagon. Change the exhaust? Yeah, definitely. I need something a little quieter. Uh, I'm probably gonna run like a Skunk 2 Mega Power muffler because I like the way that they usually sound on Hondas. I don't know how it's gonna sound with the exhaust system on this though because it's got a DC Sport header and then it's a spoon, three inch, er, not spoon, uh, Buddy Club three inch exhaust all the way back. So it's really loud. And uh, I think one of the next moves on this car, just because I'm OCD, I'm going to put uh, probably a grip roll on here just to clean it up a little bit, make it a little nicer. Shout out to David for letting me borrow the uh, shift extension. That's not my ashtray, don't worry. I don't smoke. Uh, we're about to pull back up to the shop and I'm going to help him get all these coilovers, so let's get to it. We're back at the shop. Good. We had to get a wheel lock because it had some aftermarket lug nuts on it and the car unfortunately did not come with a wheel lock. <laughs> We're probably just gonna have to full send that one off. Pretty good. I got, that's why I got this. Oh yeah. But um, I'm not gonna spoil any surprises on this car or anything because now that David has a channel, he can post his content. But um, you know what I should have grabbed today? The hood, and, the hood and fenders. Oh yeah, I need to put those on. So, back a long time ago, me and my good friend Brent, he had this EF sedan that he slammed to the ground. It was the first car that I, I had ever even participated in, like doing any slamming or coilovers, camber, any of that. And we did that together, and this was the end result of that car. It had a rusty hood and fenders and a rusted trunk, and that was the most reliable car that I have ever ridden in that sat on the ground. Like, that thing was flawless. It was an automatic, and I, ended up, I eventually bought it from him. And I drove it around for a couple months. I loved that car. I should have never gotten rid of it. I don't, I mean... I got a stupid good trade offer that I will talk about in the next video when I do my story on all the cars I've ever owned. But that car, when I sold it, when we put the rusty hood and fenders on it, we saved the original red panels. So I put them back on. So I have the rusted fenders and hood that we we're going to throw on this car. And I, I can't wait to see what it looks like with this. It's going to be like yeah, something else. And they've been sitting in the weather at my dad's shop for over a year. It's been well over a year. We'll have to put some more uh, clear coat on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Here's Free Willy. Free Willy just pulled up in his race truck. We don't like to keep factory exhaust on anything, but I'm about to help him with these coilovers. <laughs> My boy vlogging. Um, I'm about to help him put these coilovers on, and I think that'll be all for this video. So until the next video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you then.